guys welcome back to Disney in detail and today we're going to be doing a quick tour of Disney's boardwalk villas so I have a walkthrough of one of the studio rooms and then we're going to be taking a look at the lobby I am going to be doing another video on the boardwalk area as a whole um, so as soon as that's filmed and uploaded then I will link that in the description box below so you can take a look at the whole boardwalk area but today we're just taking a look at the boardwalk villas specifically so we're starting out here with a tour of the room and this particular room was a studio and Boardwalk have recently upgraded some of their rooms, um, I think specifically the soft goods which is curtains and bedding and lamps and things like that. Um, so the first thing we come to here is this closet and this was full of bed linen um, to make up the extra beds that you have in the room. The only problem was these were really the only drawers um, to put things in so it was a little bit awkward that they were full because you obviously couldn't put clothing and stuff in there but um, um, obviously you needed somewhere to store the bed linen so coming up here you can see it had a huge flat screen tv which is really nice and just below that there's the table and chairs which actually folds down and that then pulls out as a bed um, I think it's a small bed it's meant for a child I don't think it would be big enough for an adult to sleep on um, and then we're moving into the living area so you have a chair there and then the couch and this actually pulls out as another bed so that's an extra place to sleep. You have the coffee table there which can just be moved when you want to pull out the bed. And then we have the main double bed which was very very comfortable. I'm not sure if that's a double or a queen size but um, it was plenty big enough so that was fine. And then on the nightstand there you just have some storage space underneath the phone and they also had an iPod dock there so you can listen to music so that was useful. So moving on now to the bathroom and there was a tub and a shower over and obviously the toilet there. Um, housekeeping were great with towels and everything so the service was really really good. Just bear in mind if you're staying on your DVC points rather than paying cash you don't get um, housekeeping every single day so just be aware of that. So this is the vanity area. Everything was really really nicely done. There's loads of storage underneath there and there's also the closet here. This was the only place to keep clothing so that was the only thing it was a bit annoying that there were no drawers but there's plenty of space to hang everything. Obviously there's a vacuum cleaner not that I would ever use that while I'm on vacation um, and then if you turn to the other side there's a small kitchen area so there was a fridge there, a sink, a coffee pot, um, a toaster and a microwave. So everything you need just to kind of have a quick breakfast in the room. With the studio you don't kind of get facilities to be cooking full meals but there's plenty of things there um, just for you to prepare quick breakfast snacks drinks things like that so that was really good and there's plenty of storage as you can see there as well So we just headed out onto the balcony here so you can see a couple of chairs and a table there for sitting outside and this particular room was a boardwalk view and one thing to just bear in mind when you book a boardwalk view it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be right there on the boardwalk. I know some of the main hotel rooms do directly look out onto the boardwalk but the boardwalk villas um, generally anywhere that you can see the boardwalk will be considered a boardwalk view. So in this case obviously we can see the main building there, there's some green space outside and then we can see across to the boardwalk you can just see ESPN club in the distance there um, so this particular room would be considered a boardwalk view so just to manage expectations and avoid disappointment just bear in mind that you're not necessarily going to be right there on the boardwalk and as we go around you'll see the yacht club and beach club in the distance there it was a really really nice view it's just something that I think is important to know that you know you're not necessarily going to be right there on the boardwalk and you can see below some of the bigger balconies for the different types of room. So at the DVC Villas you generally have a studio, a one bedroom, a two bedroom and then they also have the grand villas. So depending what room type you have you can see that some of the rooms have much bigger balconies there. So we're just going to take a tour of the rest of the resort now and go down into the lobby. So I'll leave you to just enjoy the tour and then I'll come back again at the end.
So I hope you enjoyed this tour of Disney's Boardwalk Villas. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. If you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. And I've linked all my social media and everything below and any other videos that I think you might enjoy. So check those out. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.